five, welcome to the next lesson of the Kipon course. Today we're going to talk about the, the three elements of uh, Kipon. Three important elements of Kipon are posture, breath, and attitude or intent. Uh, these three, three things are vital. First, posture. Uh, if your posture is not correct, you will be wasting uh, energy. For example, if I were to take a stack of uh, pads and stack them up this high and stack them up nice and neat, I could walk away, come back years later, and that stack wouldn't have moved as long as no one touched it. But if I tilted that stack slightly, then more gravity would pull on its surface and it would need my energy to hold it up or it would fall as soon as I took my hand away. So your posture is like that. If your posture is straight, basically you line up everything, then gravity goes through your body in one straight line. If your posture is stooped or slouched, then gravity pulls on more of the surface area of your body and it requires you to use more energy to, to maintain uh, this posture and not fall over. So it's, it's critical that posture is either straight or counterbalanced. But most of the time, it's going it's straight. So we want to keep a nice straight posture. So basically, you want to think of uh, your, a line going through the top center of your head in Korean it's called bakwe, and going straight through your body, through your spine, uh, out of your center of your hips and into the floor. Uh, basically the core of the earth is about 4,000 miles away from you, and yet it's pulling you. If a hole opened up the ground right now, you could, you'd go right through it. So gravity's effect is pulling on us right now. It's pulling on every part of your body. So if we can keep our body nice and straight, we can uh, complement that force and use that force in our technique as opposed to fighting it and wasting energy uh, against that force. The second point is breath. Uh, breathing in, in Qigong, uh, typically uh, basic breathing is called uh, uh, Tanjan Ilban Ho Ho Po, which means uh, abdominal important or fundamental uh, breathing technique. So what you want to concentrate on when you're doing uh, the breathing is inhaling and feeling your abdomen go out. And then as you exhale, relax it. Inhale out. And exhale, relax it. Okay. So that's the uh, fundamental breathing. Now there's some different types of breathing techniques that hold you. Breathe in, you hold it for a certain count. We'll address that with each particular exercise. And finally, intent. Uh, basic uh, thing you want to concentrate on in the beginning is your breathing. Uh, more advanced uh, variations I will share with you will be uh, visualizations, uh, creating certain sounds while you're breathing, uh, visualizing certain colors, and this will engage the mind in, uh, in a different way and also help the uh, positive health benefits of the Qigong exercises. Uh, intent, basically, uh, to sum it up, is where the mind goes, your energy flows. So do a little exercise with me, follow along. I want you to imagine uh, a cutting board with a lemon on it bright yellow lemon. Imagine the waxy texture of the lemon, uh, the bumpy feel of the skin. Uh, imagine you take a knife and you cut through the thick skin of that lemon and uh, the little citrus spray comes out of it and it gets into the air and into your nose and you can smell that lemon smell. And now imagine taking one of those halves and you squeeze the juice into your mouth. Now if you did this with me, you should have actually saliva built up in your mouth. Your mind thinks, because you imagine a lemon, and that it's happening, and your body starts to produce saliva to counteract the citrus acid in the lemon. So what this means is you just made a uh, chemical change in your body with thought alone. And this is important because where your mind goes, your energy flows. If you put your mind in the wrong place when you're doing uh, Qigong, you're not going to get an effect or you might get an adverse effect. So very importantly, in the beginning, we want to concentrate the mind just on the breathing. Posture, breathing, and intent. More advanced uh, lessons uh, a little further down, we're going to get into uh, sounds, and colors, and visualizations. But for now, it's important that you realize when your mind goes, your energy flows. So we want to place our mind on our breathing. 